Hello everyone, and welcome back to Metal Gear. Whoops, did I pick new game? I should not have picked new game. Well now Ruffin Guy gets to see the intro. Regardless, as as you can see, Ruffin Guy, I know that you, you I know that you've played the uh, NES version of this. The the intro is a bit different on the MSX. It it it's a bit different. It starts you out in a bit of a different place. I just wanted you to see that, because it's it's pretty awesome in this game, whereas in the original it was terrible. Seriously. Anyway. Let's load up from where we were. Oh, whoops. I kind of forgot about that. Anyway, uh, the reason for that is that I really should have known that was there. Let's just, let's just start out with this, uh, yeah, that, that, don't, don't judge it by that. Don't judge it by that. I should have known those were there. You get a lot of warning that those are gonna be there. I just completely forgot what I was doing. Oh! I apparently wasn't full on rations. I might want to go ahead and get full on rations. Shouldn't take too long. I think I only need to, I, I think I can only get a couple more. <laughs> yeah, it's bigger on the inside. This is how all the truck. Oh, yep. I was right. Let's see. Yeah, what I need is C4. Plastic explosive, yeah. Um, just to make sure. No mines. Okay, good. Oh, no. Now, for this tank, you have to fight it in a pretty weird way. You have to plant explosive. It has to be plastic explosive. Mines won't work. And that didn't work. Why didn't that work? No, it has to be mines. That's right. Mines, not plastic explosive. That's right. That's what it has to be. I got it. I got it backwards. It's actually mines. So anyway, gotta wait for it to go back so that it'll end up rolling over the mines. I think that was the the near death screen. I'm not really sure. I may have nearly beaten this already. I still have 13 mines left. Maybe it kept the damage I did to it before. Oh, that was way too early. But it still worked. Uh, it wasn't near death. Whenever it's near death, it does a higher pitched scream. Whoops! Wait, I had rations equipped. What? Come on. <sighs> okay. That wasn't supposed to happen? I guess it's because I actually touched the tank. Maybe you're not supposed to touch the tank. Maybe that- maybe that overrides the rations if you touch the tank. <laughs> Maybe I can save after I get all these rations so I don't have to do this again. So I don't have to do this again if I die again. Oh, maybe it does do infinite damage. Although, it, I still had a bunch of rations. Um, I still had a bunch of rations there. Uh, it didn't count down the rations, it actually did have, um, 
nine rations left or something. So, I don't know. And I'm pretty sure that's how it works, where it automatically uses the rations. I got ridiculously close again. Yeah, the missiles don't matter. And I, I think I used a ration. Maybe you die if you get crushed, and that's just a special rule for this boss. Oh, that was that's that mine's completely worthless. Oh, okay, never mind. It just rolled over it anyway. It hardly ever goes up there. I just have to keep doing this, I guess, and not let it roll over me. <sighs> ah. I actually did run out of mines last time. I gotta go. You have, you have to go back and get more. Oh, that was actually... that was the higher-pitched one. Yeah, he's almost dead. There we go. Yay. Yeah, I think saving is a good idea after that. That was a pretty tough boss battle. It's a pretty scary boss battle anyway. Gotta get up close to the tank and everything. I'm a little disappointed you don't beat that tank by throwing grenades into it. Inspections. Wear the enemy uniform and infiltrate. Okay, one to zero point thirteen. Okay. Well, it didn't do anything. No, I'm not gonna do twin snakes. Um, I want to do like I I thought about it, but I decided I decided it's better not to. Oh, that did not go as expected. Okay. Well, I guess I wouldn't ex shouldn't expect that key card to work. Um I'm not sure where I'm supposed to get one of their uniforms. And they're immediately alerted when I enter the area. I don't have to have to enter their line of sight this time. So this is just endlessly the same thing over and over. Okay. So what do I do then? Oh, nope. Let's see, what were the other radio frequencies? I've already forgotten them. I think we only knew one, and it wasn't that useful. Um... One, two, zero, point three, three. Oh, hey! She actually responded this time! 120.91 to communicate. Hmm. 
Yeah, she didn't say anything, though. We did actually hear from Diane, though, for the first time. So, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do now. I have the... You're supposed to have the uniform already? Oh, great. Just went straight into a minefield. Okay. Enemy to the right. So where is the uniform then? Um. Huh. Oh, enemy to the right. I I get it now. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Hmm. Well, I think we've explored this area. I don't think there's going to be anything else there. Maybe there's something here? I don't really remember if we checked this area thoroughly. I think we did. I think this is where we fought a boss, actually. Oh, the bomb blast suit. Wasn't that on the roof? No, it wasn't on the roof. I needed it for the roof. It was in the basement. Yeah, it's in the basement. I remember. So it's it's down in the basement then, huh? So it's in here? Oh, I think that was it. I don't remember, uh... I don't remember any of the frequencies. I've forgotten them all. But anyway... Body armor. That's what that was. Oh. Tap on the center of the west wall. Okay. When you're back on the screen where you entered the spiral, head north. On this screen, tap the center of the west wall until you hear that strange tapping sound once again. Okay. So. Uh, 
Uh, plastic explosive. I forgot what it looked like. Oh, right, it's not an item. What am I thinking? It's a weapon. Well, in this area, you do a whole lot of punching the walls anyway. So, I mean, that's exactly what you're supposed to do in this entire area. So, you would be punching all the walls pretty much anyway. It's just that you wouldn't punch the outer walls, because there's no indication to do that, I would think. But, I guess you just get are supposed to get frustrated and try everything? I don't know. I mean, this is back in the MSX days. Oh, 1 to 0 0.13. I forgot about that. I feel like I should have these open in like a... In, in maybe a uh, notepad or something. That's probably a good idea. I might go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to... I don't want to ask you every time. So... Put this in front of the chat so you can see me do it. Uh, let's see. Big boss. Uh, one. Actually, I need to actually see what you. Okay, 120.13. Okay, so, what's. Uh, what was the other person's. Um, what was the other person's new frequency? Diane? She had a new one. Okay. That's just one two zero point nine one. Diane. One two zero point nine one. <laughs> hey, hey, don't spoil it. Oh, actually. Let's go ahead and use a ration. Eh, let's let's save once we get there. Wait a minute, are we gonna have to fight the tank again? Ah! Uh, I just realized we were gonna have to fight the tank again. Uh. I hope I have enough mines. I don't actually know. Oh, 15. Alright. I got plenty of mines. I don't know. It seems like they were refilled. I don't know if putting two mines hurts him more. I hope so. But he does flash. Which flashing sometimes means invincibility, I guess? 
so I don't really know. I'll have to watch the video later and determine whether or not I'm using more mines this way. At least it wasn't that hard. Now that I know how to now that I kinda know how to do it. Hopefully, if I die here, it will actually let me start. I don't think it did last time, but hopefully it'll actually let me start at the right place. Go on in. We we can we can just kind of stay in the water here. I wonder if we have to worry about getting caught in here when we have the uh, the uniform. Apparently, we do. We we do have to worry about getting caught. It's a good thing I was able to just get that answered. Oh, wait a minute. That's... that's interesting. They notice me right away when I don't have the uniform on. Whereas if I have the uniform on, I have to be in their line of sight. That's interesting. What? What? I need mines again? Did, what? What? I guess so. It's it, it's it's cool. I kind of like that idea. Not mines. Well, bullets don't work. Uh... Oh no. Ah. He just has to hit you once. At least I got plenty of ammo for that grenade launcher. I still don't know if it's enough, but... Pretty tough. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa. Uh, that's kind of hard. <laughs> Oh no. Well, there's an elevator right here, so I guess it's not that bad. <sighs> ah, whoa, 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 whoa. So we've got a whole bunch of floors to this building, just like we did on the previous one, um, including a roof access where they immediately know where we are what 
whether or not we have the uniform on. That's interesting. Maybe there's some way to sneak past those guys. If you have an item or something. Why can't I go down? I, I can't go down. I hope I didn't just miss a whole lot of content because you actually, actually just can't go down. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm probably doing something wrong, and you probably can go down. I seriously doubt this requires any of the key cards that I oh that one required the two key card Dr. Madnar is in the underground dungeon so we probably have to go down to the basement we've still got a lot of items a lot of item space so there's probably a lot left of the game <laughs> yeah Adam would be very proud of my stealthy gameplay Adam would be glad I'm using guns instead of just punching everybody. I like how these guys use cover. It's really cool. For, for an old game like this, it's really cool. Also, more jetpack men. You missed out on the jetpack men last time, Ruffin Guy. But now you're getting to get caught up on them. Okay, so I got to another elevator. Whew, that was pretty tough. What, what? What? I, okay. Try that again. Oh, and not immediately go to the left. I think I can get through that. You just gotta be pretty quick. What? Oh, he, he's a sleepy guard. You'll need a compass to cross the desert. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, oh no! What? Who is this man? What? What is this man doing? Is he's an enemy, but he doesn't trigger an alarm? What? Why is that man strutting around? How does his strutting hurt me? I don't... I, I, the deadliest strut. So... That was... That was a big man. 
who didn't trigger an alert. He just walked into me and killed me a lot. Uh, he just walked into me and did a lot of damage, and I didn't have rations equipped. <sighs> this is... I think I'm going to try some other place. Actually, no. Ah, and now I can't go up. So it's going to do the same thing, I guess. I knew I needed to I, I needed to go to the basement anyway. Like the guy said I needed to go to the basement, and that is not working against those dogs. Ah No. Oh, just thanks. Okay. Well, I need that anyway. I need a, uh... I can save these guys and they'll rank up eventually, which will give me more... I, I don't know what happened there. I just died. Maybe there was poison gas in the room? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. The stuff at MGS that people complain about, you got a codec call. This, you really don't get one. Oh, I see. It is poison gas. And the funny thing is, like, I can call Big Boss at 120.13. And he does he doesn't respond? Oh come on. He did previously when there was poison gas. Let's see if there's any holes that open up in the ground here. I don't see any. <laughs> oh boy. That's a good idea. He's a rash. Since we got plastic explosive, we'll probably have to use plastic explosive in this room. Okay, none of those worked, so... Okay, none of that worked. Maybe I have to punch them? It's not working. Yeah, at least they fixed that in the Metal Gear Solid games. You don't have the multiple key cards. 
you just have the you, you just I mean you, you you just upgrade your key card to the better one and it's a better security clearance so you can get in I could be it. Okay, I know. Surely I've got a bomb stuff in here, right? But I'm not seeing any walls I can bomb. Maybe it's this wall? Well, that thing, you still only have one key card, but we'll get there when we get there. We can complain about that when we get there. After all that, we still didn't really get anywhere. Okay. Yep, destructible walls go boing. Oh good, and we ranked up. The only way out from this floor is to find the north elevator. Okay, that's good to know. And we also ranked up, which means we can carry more, more uh, rations, more... Um, more ammunition, and we have more health. Um, let's see, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, well, it's true. It doesn't really have a way out there, huh? Oh, Dr. Madnar! That that must be him. I'm I'm assuming. <laughs> oh! We we fell into his trap. The real Dr. Madnar is on the second floor. Well well thank you for telling me. Um I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna explode, though. No, that was not an explosion. That that was that was not an explosion. Well, we know where the doctor is. He's he's on the second floor. Did we get anything down there that we needed? Because I don't think we got anything down there that we needed. We, I think we can just go and save the... Oh, boy. Oh, we got a rank. Yeah, that's true. It might be worth it. I can't go back up now. Might as well... Yeah.
All right, do I need to pick up the stuff from that room that didn't have anything really that I, I... I think it had a ration and I think it was not really worth it. Oh, okay. So I do actually need to do that then. I guess it's all right. I don't remember what was in what room. Oh, yeah. Key card. I guess we just ignore that guy. Like, can we just ignore that guy? I don't know. Oops, I forgot to... <laughs> Alright. Oh, he is the fire trooper. Can't quite get him in the blast that way. Hmm. It's kind of hard to get. There we go. That worked surprisingly well. So the real doctor's on the second floor. Yeah, that was a relatively easy boss battle. He was he was definitely not the fury. Yeah, I didn't really expect to get out of that. Oh, okay. Going this way does does nothing. Good to know. Except immediately get me caught when I come back. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to not get caught there. Oh wait, maybe, maybe using the cardboard box, actually. That probably is the only way to do it. Oh no! Picked up an antidote. Oh, no. Oh 
no. That's kind of that's pretty tough. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can get through those walls. Uh... Okay, I think I need to get back to the elevator. <laughs> Go to the first floor. Really? All right. I can't. It won't let me move the... What? 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 It won't let me move the elevator down. It is still really cool that they use cover, though. I don't know. Uh, I think I've already got everything from the roof that I need. Like, what else, what else is there? Oh, right. This elevator. I have to use this elevator to go down. That was the up elevator. I forgot about that. So go to the first floor, huh? So this has one elevator that goes up and another elevator that goes down. What? 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 What are they shooting at? Nothing. Oh, they do actually see me. They were actually shooting at me. Oh, uh, yeah, I think your, I think your view is lagged or something. Um, alright. Oh no! <sighs> These floors! Oh my goodness, this is, this is ridiculous. I'm almost out of time, too. Eh. I think I'm gonna save. And then if I don't get through it this time, I'm just gonna quit for the night, because it is actually midnight. It is pretty fun. Maybe if I go in the uniform? No, that doesn't help. Just gotta wear the body armor, I guess. They don't even trigger an, al an alert. They just kinda start attacking you. It's so weird.
I'm just gonna stay close to the walls. Oh, no. I apparently can't swim in deep water. Whoops. Oh, that was a weird sound. Go around the shallow part. Oh, yeah, there's another place over there. A little afraid of that guard scene. Okay. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, okay. I just didn't explore this floor. And it oh, hello. Ah, nope. I just didn't explore this floor enough. None of my cards worked there. Alright. Hmm. Uh, that's that's too bad. I I don't know uh, I don't know what's causing that. Plastic explosive. I think, um, all right, see you, roughing guy. Oops. This is new. Picked up an antenna. They are trying to jam our signal, but we are okay on this frequency. Over. Okay. Maybe 120.91 will work now. Hmm. Maybe I have to equip this, the antenna. Hmm. Opening what door? Which door? Oops. Yep, I'm definitely getting tired. This one? Nope, oh, nope, that didn't lead anywhere.
was I doing? Um, I think I was just equipping that. Oh, that, just the door up there, okay. I thought I did try, but I just didn't have a key. And, like, none of my keys worked. Oh, uh -huh. oh, okay. The far end of the waterworks is connected to building three. I don't know what that means. I guess, oh, meaning you have to swim down this to get to building three. Well... Well, it could be in that door. I was not able to get in that door. I need I need another key card to get through it. Oh, not sure how they saw me, but. Okay, there's the flashlight. Well, I found it. I found a flashlight. I guess that'll be useful somewhere. Oh, and the only other place is the basement, which I don't want to go all the way through that again. We'll figure this out next time. It is actually past time to stop, I think. So, and I'm getting pretty tired. I'll try to do. I'll try to play ahead for next time, so that we can uh, so that we can go through it a little more quickly. Because I do want to get to Metal Gear Solid. I mean, I want to get to Metal Gear Two. Uh, and then Metal Gear Solid. Oh, is there is there an up elevator? Well, there would have to be an up elevator on that floor. So yeah, I'll have to find it. But we'll do that next time. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I will try to get back on track and uh, come back Thursday for more uh, for more of our thurs regular Thursday night stream instead of doing this uh, Saturday thing. Um, it's just that I had something else I needed to do. So? Oh, I'm very close to the end. Oh, okay. I guess you mean very close. Oh, am I, I'm, am I very close to the end of the game? Or very close to the end of this section? Or... Well, if I'm past the halfway point, I'm pretty happy. Because, I mean, I like this game. It's really fun. But I really want to move on to Metal Gear 2. All right. Well, um, either way. Um, oh, okay. The game. All right, then. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I, uh, I enjoyed doing it, uh, as always. I don't remember if I saved my game. I think I did. And uh, I'll just do it again. Um, and I hope I will see you next time as we continue playing through some indie games. And... Uh, And, uh, just, I don't know how I was going to finish that sentence. So we just, and, and we continue playing some of those indie games. Like, uh, we played, um, 
we played Rocket Birds, and then we played FTL. Um, and then we and then we, we will continue Metal Gear Rising Revengeance with... Uh, we're actually pretty close to the end of that game as well. Um, and then uh, we will just continue on Metal Gear 1. Hopefully finish the game pretty soon. So, anyway. I'll, I hope I see you guys next time. Good night.